I never thought I'd... I, I was good at science. I'm not really a math person. This um, is our lab for glycomics. But once I actually got hands-on experience, I think that was what really motivated me. I could already see, you know, what there was to accomplish. We do a lot of research here on um, Borrelia as well. I got to dive right in. At Bryant University, we have the opportunity to work on real science, not some mock-up or ex exercise that you would do in your labs. It's actually research that the professors themselves are working on, working towards conferences and working towards publications. Hi, Julie. What would you call your lab? I would call it the Environmental Chemistry Lab. So we have six major labs at Bryant. Um, Chris Reed's lab works on um, different diseases and trying to understand how to inhibit proteins. This side of the lab is more for microbiology. Uh, Kirsten's lab works on cancer research as well as um, looking at molds. Uh, Julie and Dan's lab looks at uh, environmental toxicology and how to remediate. This is our environmental chemistry lab. Hong and Chin's lab does archaeology and paleontology. This is more of our morphological side. Trying to understand and climate change. This is the same research but the geochemical side. Gaitha's lab does a lot of microbiology work. Um, understanding coral reefs. This is our analytical lab. So this is where everyone can share equipment. So this is our ICP, our GCMS, and HPLC. All the labs can use this exact same equipment for their own analyses. At Bryant, collaborative research happens uh, within the labs at Bryant, but also happens with labs at other schools. So if you're at Bryant University, you have connections with all other schools in Rhode Island, but you also have schools that your professors are connected to. For example, uh, the professor I worked with was connected with Yale and with MIT. In addition to that, I got to travel to different um, places around the U.S. to conferences, as well as go to China. Um, I think I've been six times now. <laughs> After I graduated, I was given another opportunity by Bryant um, to go to China University of Geosciences. I did uh, scientific research working in their microbiology department. After a year of study there, um, I missed Bryant because the facilities are uh, abundant and available. China had a kind of fight over equipment <laughs> with other students. Um, it made me appreciate Bryant even more. This is day five of the consortium. So this is a little better than that one. So you can also compare when... The faculty at Bryant are just absolutely wonderful. I love them. Uh, within the first year I was here, every single faculty member knew my name, um, which was really important. You got to have a one-on-one -on -one experience with them. Sharing ideas is what really drives science to move forward. If you don't share, then there's really no point to it, to me. Um, and not only do you get to publish, but going to conferences and interacting with people Learning new ideas is a really unique opportunity that Bryant provides its students. Being a science student at Bryant University has really opened my eyes um, to the rest of the world. It's given me opportunities to explore science, to travel, and to really understand myself as a person.